introduce you to two sisters, um, Sally and Miriam, who are here. Um, survived um, 12 out of 15. Uh, survived. You survived in an attic, an attic. together. Um, why did Why did the person who hid you in an attic do it? He He went to find us, and when he found us, he tried to help us without getting more involved. But it was clear that we needed more help, and he was persuaded by my mother to have a good talk with his wife and that she would cooperate. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, because she was very afraid and she did not have the connection to my family that he did. He did it out of sheer attachment. He was bonded to my family and he felt that he was, they were, he called us his Jews. And he had to do whatever he could for his Jews because they had done what they could for him when he was a child, an orphan child. And so now he did his best, but he needed his wife's cooperation. She was not so enthused about the project. She told me it was very dangerous, which I knew. And um, my mother uh, came up with a, with a creative answer. She, Go ahead. She gave her, she promised her all her jewels. And did he take them? Oh, yes. They <laughs> needed them. They were poor people. Yeah. How were they going to take care of 15 people without having some Something, means? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Um, Ray Hot, um, uh, what did the person, why did they save you? Why your family? Uh, the person uh, was Maria Nickel, a um, housewife who was appalled at what was happening to Germany. And she had a very, very positive experience working for Jews. And she loved being with them. She made up her mind that she would try to help a Jew in need. She saw what was being done to the Jews in Berlin. And uh, she looked and she found my mother Ruth. She actually followed your mom. And did your mom turn around at one point and say, what are you doing, lady? You're following me, right? She was looking, and, and my mother, who looked very, very non-Jewish, very Aryan, or uh, was, was pr heavily pregnant with me, uh, going to and from work, and she um, spotted my mother. And this was very strange to her, the way my mother looked. And so she approached my mother after following her for several days. And she said she wanted to help. And my mother was petrified. Back in just a second.